Hi again everyone and welcome to another episode of Gospel and Spade. Today we will take a look at the Pontius Pilate ring which dates to the 1st century AD. This small copper alloy ring decorated with the image of a Greek wine crater or a vessel that was used to mix wine was discovered during excavations at the site of the Herodium near Bethlehem in 1968 through to 1969. However, the ring was only recently cleaned and examined after being stored away for 50 years. When the ring was finally cleaned, it was found to contain an inscription in Greek which simply reads, Pilato. This name is the Greek version of the Latin name Pilatus, who in English is called Pilate. This inscription has led many scholars to the conclusion that this ring was connected to the infamous Roman governor of Judea, Pontius Pilate. To further strengthen this conclusion, it has been pointed out that the ring was discovered in an archaeological layer that dates prior to 71 AD and was found with other 1st century AD artefacts in the same room at the Herodium. The Herodium, which was built by Herod the Great, acted as an important tomb, palace and fortress complex for the Herodian dynasty before its destruction by the Romans during the Great Jewish Revolt in 71 AD. This dates the creation of the ring to sometime before 71 AD, which is when the infamous Roman governor of the same name governed over Judea between 26 to 36 AD. Furthermore, the ring's presence in an important political site connected to the Herodian dynasty who collaborated with the Romans, also helps to strengthen its connection to the Roman government within Judea, of which Pilate would have been its chief representative during his years as governor. Based upon the location and archaeological context of where the ring was discovered, along with the Greek version of the name Pilate, upon the ring, it has been reasonably concluded that this ring was somehow connected to Pontius Pilate, who is mentioned in the New Testament and also in extra-biblical sources like Tacitus, Philo and Josephus. It is thought that this small and rather humble ring, instead of having been the personal signet ring of the Roman governor, though that is also a distinct possibility, that it may have been given to one of Pontius Pilate's governmental officials as a sign of both the person's identity as an officer of Pilate and to demonstrate that the individual had been given the authority of the Roman governor of Judea. Outside of historical sources, this is the second piece of archaeological evidence after the Pontius Pilate inscription that has been discovered so far which mentions the infamous governor who took part in the trial and crucifixion of Jesus Christ. This find once again helps to demonstrate the historical reliability of the New Testament account and helps to prove the existence of Pontius Pilate. Thank you for watching. As always, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new content every Friday.